I'm going to be ranking the best auctionable cards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier, and we have about 30 of the best auctionable cards in the game. If you guys don't know what I mean by auctionable, is every single card on this tier list will be purchasable from the auction now. So there'll be no trophy case cards like Dr. J. There'll be no grindable cards like Mike Bantam, Billy Knight, you know, KG, those type of cards. We'll just be every single card you guys can buy off the auction house and see who are the best auctionable cards in the game. So starting off the tier list here with AK-47, I would say he's probably somewhere in that C or B tier category. I mean, I think I'll throw him in C tier for now. He is still one of the better defenders in the game, and that is probably the only reason why he's even close to being in the B tier spot is definitely going to be uh, definitely going to be because of his defense. He is six foot nine at the small four position with a seven foot wingspan. You take a look at the defensive stats. I mean, this card stats are absolutely amazing on the defensive end. And then he's also got tons of good Hall of Fame defensive badges like anchor, challenger, clamps, glove, intercept their menace off ball pass post lockdown and like i said before this is the reason or that's the reason why i want to use this card is going to be for his defense because offensively he's really not that great of a card i mean he can still shoot a three you know still knock it on a three you know obviously obviously it does have the normal leaner and the uh, mj dribble style as well but i think for me ak-47 probably going to be somewhere in the c tier category i think ben simmons you got to go a tier i don't think he's a top five auctionable card in the game if you guys don't know s tier is going to be my top five auctionable cards is he a top five auctionable card i don't believe so maybe top 10 but i don't think he's going to be somewhere in the s tier category bob netalecki i think you kind of got to go in the middle at b tier he's still a very good small forward i mean you guys got to remember he's got one of the best jump shots in the game yes he's only six foot nine but his defensive stats really aren't that bad like this card actually plays some good defense and i know, I know a lot of competitive guys do run bob netalecki still at the power forward spot so i got to give him some love and throw him at least in that b tier category dark metal lebron is he a top five auctionable card i think probably not i mean maybe honestly if we think about it he could be maybe number five but i think he's probably number six or number seven so i'll keep him in a tier for now but we all know what lebron can do he's still one of the best offense or sorry still one of the best defensive cards in the game with his animations and he just plays so well in game that i think you got to give him at least the a tier spot vince carter I think is actually still really good. I think Vince Carter is actually one of the more underrated cards in the game. I know we've gotten some really good shooting guards recently, but this Vince card just plays so well on both sides of the ball. Yes, he's more of an offensive card, but this card's defense is actually very underrated, but offensively, he can be your primary ball handler, be the guy that you score the ball with every single play. He can play defense, has a good jump shot, amazing sigs. Like, he's basically got some of the best sigs in the game. I do wish he had the normal leaner, but his leaner is actually very solid with the pro too. So, I mean, all around, I do think Vince Carter is probably somewhere in the A tier category. Denny, I think you gotta go B tier. I think he's just a worse Ben Simmons. They're very similar at the point guard position. Both tall, play really good defense, and are an art great offensive cards. But I still think, you know, they're very good cards at their position. And I think Denny's just slightly worse than a guy like Ben Simmons. Now, Dino Raja is a very weird weird card to rank because i think at the power forward spot if we're talking about auctionables uh power forwards i think he's probably number three or number four in the game if we're talking about centers i think he's probably the fourth best auctionable and fourth best center in the game like dino yes he is missing a lot of badges but this card's jump shot's really good he's got an eight foot wingspan plays amazing defense he's got a hall of fame anchor post lockdown rebound chaser but this card can move very, very well for your center like or power forward because that's the thing about this card is he is super versatile at the power forward and center position the thing i like the most about this card probably is if you match up if you match up against a yao ming or even a Kristaps, because they're a little bit slower of centers i mean i'd say more against yao ming if you run him at center against yao obviously he's going to get dominated down low but with these dribble sigs, he can take Yao Ming in a five out and definitely get to the rim pretty much every single time with that Steve Francis size up. So it's a great way to kind of expose Yao Ming and kind of counteract him on the counter attack him on the offensive end with Dino in the five out situation. But I think for now, Dino probably going to be somewhere in my A tier category, maybe even S tier. But I think for I think honestly, realistically, he's going to be somewhere in A tier. Jokic. I think you got to give him the same love. I think you got to go A tier. There probably will be a lot of A tier cards, but Jokic is still a really good power forward. I think he's slightly worse than a guy like Dino at the four. Dino just gives you more defense, more finishing around the rim. I think he's a little bit slower than Jokic, but I do think he's got a better jump shot and he's a way better rebounder as well, especially with that eight foot wingspan. But Jokic, I still think is probably somewhere in the A tier category. D-Rob, at least the pink diamond version, I think probably B tier. You can maybe argue high C tier. Maybe he'll get dropped down there later in the video, but for for now i think he's kind of somewhere in b tier he's still a very solid kind of budget center yes he's not going to be his dark matter version who we're going to talk about here right now
now obviously his dark matter i do believe is going to be a top five auctionable card if we're talking about the power four position i think he's the best power forward in the game even over a guy like Kristaps, because i think Kristaps is more of a center than he is a power forward so for me personally i would go drop at uh, drop as the best power forward and then i think he's probably the second best or the third best center in the game so as a dark matter auctionable card i do think he's going to be somewhere in that top five and in the s tier category marcus Saul is a decent budget center i kind of wanted to include him on this list just because there's not that many great budget centers in the game and i feel like for the center position he's got to be somewhere on here because you can make an argument he's probably the sixth or seventh best center in the game which is kind of crazy to say but that just shows how weak the center depth is and i feel like marcus Saul still probably somewhere in c tier is this rudy gay it is i think rudy gay is probably either very high b tier because he is he better than lebron me personally i don't think he is but I think he's very, very high B tier. You could argue he's better than a guy like Vince Carter and a guy like Jokic. So let me know what you guys think about Rudy Gay. Would you guys go B tier or would you guys go A tier? I think Vince, you know, Dino, Jokic are just slightly better at their, you know, certain positions. Like I think Vince is a little bit better of a shooting guard and then Rudy Gay is at the small four position. Dark Matter Giannis, I think kind of like LeBron just because of their animations and just how well they play in game. I think you still got to put him in A tier. Like, yes, I don't think they're S tier. I don't think either of them are top five auctionable cards in the game, but they're just so lead at their positions they get great animations lebron's got a very solid jump shot and they're some of the best defenders in the game james harden I know it might seem a little bit crazy, but I'm going to throw him in B tier. I think James Harden is still an amazing point guard. You can use him at a very high level if you know how to use a SIGs and you're really good with his jump shot. I think you probably could maybe throw him in the A tier category. I would say he's high B tier. Him and Danny really depends on play style and preference and kind of how you guys want to run your offense. So let me know, would you guys take Danny or Harden at the point guard position? I feel like it really matters on your squad and kind of your play style as well. Jonathan Isaac, 1 million percent going to be at least in the A tier category. Like you can make a very, a very valid argument that Jonathan Isaac could be better than LeBron at the small four position. Do I think he's better than LeBron? I think I got to use him a little bit more and test him out, but he's one of the new best defenders in the game. Pretty much got every single defensive badge on Hall of Fame. Perfect defensive stats. He's got a great jump shot, pretty good dribble six, normal leaner. I mean, this card, you can make an argument, is the second or third best small forward in the game. In my opinion, I'd probably have him at number three behind Mike Bantam and LeBron James. Now, talking about Jason Tatum, I think you still got to throw B tier. I mean, you can maybe go C tier if you want wanted to if you do think it got uh, honestly I know, I know, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for these two guys, but I'm putting Kevin Durant and, and Tatum in, in uh, C tier. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me on that, but I don't think these cards really aren't that great. I think their jump shots definitely let them down. I think you can maybe throw them in low B tier if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm going to probably throw them high C tier. Like who's better between AK, KD and Tatum? I'm not exactly sure because AK is going to give you such good defense compared to Kevin Durant and Jason Tatum. Obviously they're better offensive cards, but it really depends what you need at that small four position. Dirk, I think you probably, go high b tier i think just like you know denny he's a little bit worse than ben simmons i think dirk is a little bit worse than Jokic, and then like even at the power forward position i think bob is you know a decent amount worse than a guy like Jokic or dino so i'd probably say dirk in that high b tier spot is still a very very good power forward especially for the price he does go for dark matter Kristaps easily going to be in the s tier category just like d rob is super versatile able to play power forward on Kristaps porzingis like i feel like that's probably one of the most glitchy things we've seen this year and not that many people are talking about it the fact that Kristaps is seven foot three and is eligible to play the power four position and they also juiced him out on the defensive end giving him a 95 block and a 94 interior defense so he's actually a very good defender and then he's also got 87 speed 87 acceleration so i mean this card the only flaw with this uh, only flaw with his stats on the diamond were his speed and his defense and with the dark matter that might be two of the best things about this card. His speed is really good for the center position, and his defense is among the best in the game at the center spot. So all around, we know Kristaps is going gonna, is gonna to be one of the best offensive bigs in the game. So the fact that he's fast and he can play defense, being 7'3", a power forward, or even the center position is so glitchy, and I think he's easily got to be a top 5 auctionable card. And same thing goes with LaMelo Ball. I mean, they really souped out these new dark matters. Like, I think LaMelo and D-Rob, or sorry, LaMelo and Kristaps, I should say, are, are both going to be in the S tier category. Imagine Johnson just like Ben Simmons I think he's that one tier below LaMelo Ball in my opinion I like LaMelo a little bit more than Magic and Ben Simmons but if you wanted to argue Magic and Ben are better than LaMelo I don't think it's a crazy debate or crazy to say like I think it's a very close argument between those three point guards for me though I think LaMelo Ball just edges it out because he actually is a very good defender like he's not that much worse than Magic on the defensive end and he's going to be so much better offensively with his jump shot and his offensive stats Yao Ming 
easily going to be an S tier. Probably still the best card in the game. I mean, you can make a real argument. He is the best card in the game. I think he's probably number one or number two. MPJ, I think, is on the same level of Rudy Gay. If you wanted to throw MPJ in A tier, I think that's definitely a fair argument to make. I think Jonathan Isaac is just slightly better than Rudy Gay and MPJ. Also, guys, you got to remember, like, when I'm putting a card in A tier and a card in B tier, I'm not saying there's, like, a huge gap between the cards because if I was just going off, like, you know, if, there, if there's a small gap between the cards, they're all going to be in the same tier. That means probably like 90% of the cards in B tier would all be in A tier. So I kind of have to balance out the tier list a little bit. So if I have, for example, you know, MP or Jonathan Isaac over MPJ, I'm not saying there's like a massive gap between those two small forwards. I'm just saying I think Jonathan Isaac is a little bit better than a guy like MPJ. And MPJ is just like kind of one step down compared to a guy like Jonathan Isaac. Same thing with Denny and Ben Simmons. Like I think Denny is just that one step down below a guy like Ben Simmons. Next card here, uh, next card here though is going to be Scottie Pippen, a super good two way shooting guard and small forward, can play the defense really well and does have. Have a very good jump shot dennis rodman honestly i don't like this card too much i think he's just maybe a better ak uh same thing with pascal siakam i mean you could argue siakam maybe in b tier because of his jump shot but I think you probably got to throw him C tier. I think these three power, uh, three, these three small forwards are very similar. You know, AK, Dennis Robin, and Siakam. I think they're all very similar at the small forward position. Uh, Galaxy Simple Terry, I think you probably got to throw him in B tier for the same reason as Bob. Like, he's just a little bit not outdated, not at all. Like, they're both very good cards at their position, but there's just better shooting guards and better power forwards compared to Bob and Terry Dishinger. Dark Matter T Mac, I think he's going to round off our top five for the top five uh, best auctionable cards in the S tier category. I mean, T Mac, one of the most broken and glitchy cards cards in my team great jump shot or sorry the best jump shot in the game amazing dribble sticks all around great stats and he's going to be a dark matter so 30 hall of fame badges and then last card here is actually going to be another dark matter and i'm throwing d wade in the a tier category i know this card does get a lot of hate and i do understand where people are coming from with the hate on d wade but i think he's actually such an elite card especially with these defensive stats and badges and overall his animations as well but guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about my auctionable card tier list and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.